Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Today, another unboxing. And the warehouse has changed. We reorganized the whole thing. It's like kind of out of room, so we're gonna do it right back here. Not good. No, sir, I don't like it. <coughs> All right, here we go, first box. Different vendor than normal. We're doing a couple of uh, vendors this time, just cause I happen to be here. Let's see, oh, there it is. Should be a Matoro Stingray. Double bagged and everything. Super stressed out, not a lot of color on it. Ooh, but yeah, it's got the Matoro spots. We'll get it into a tank and hopefully Jimmy can get B-roll shots of it. Uh, you know, looking good. He's making sure it looks good, but yes. Let's see what else we got today. Looks like shrimp. These guys, are these these look like oranges, all the orange shrimp. And these come in with a little piece of sponge to hold on to. Next up we've got, looks like red cherries. Same thing, got sponge to hold on to. After that we've got blue velvet shrimp. Same sponge type apparatus they hold on to. Ooh, do I got do I got a man down? Nope, they're just bumbling around. So there's the blue velvet shrimp. And then what else we got? Ooh, some little panda garas. That's all we got for box number one. That's right, girl. You want the panda garas. I do. I know you like those. I like them too. I haven't brought any home yet. Let's see what's in this box. I think, yeah, that's what I thought. This is all live black worms. Yummy. Oof, need to be rinsed though. They've been sitting in the bag for a while. You can tell that kind of pea soup. That right there. But I think we ordered five pounds. We got someone locally that will supply them. They order them in by the bunch. And then we'll clean them up and we resell them. And they're good for stingrays. And like I like to feed the clown loaches and that kind of stuff. These giants. Speaking of clown loaches, yeah, let me... I just realized you guys haven't seen this. Let me go into the store and show you the biggest clown loaches. They're easily the biggest clown loaches I've ever seen in person. I'm going to take you into the quarantine room. I ordered them in for me and one other person. Uh, they're driving down from Canada to pick it up. So I don't ship, but you can drive and get them. And we've got more unboxing and stuff like that. But let me show you those clown loaches. All right, we're here in the quarantine room. Let's take a look. I love them. I can't wait to put them in the 800 gallon. So if you look down here, you can start seeing some of these beasts. Now, these tanks are 12 inches wide and you can see they can't really sit end to end. Ooh, that one knocked its air off. So I'm gonna attach that back to the sponge. You can see this absolute beefcake. It's probably four or five inches tall. And if you look at that next to my hand, like that thing clearly is huge. And we brought in um, six of them. There's another one back here and another giant one right here. And then if we go up, there's another big one right here. I know it's hard to see with the glare, but you know, that's a full size high door three sponge. And then we've got another one down over here. So got six of these bad boys. They're, I, I believe they're wild caught. I don't know that for a fact. I'm assuming they're wild caught, um, but I'm hopefully can get a few more and we're gonna put them in the 800 gallon, but let's go ahead and get back to the unboxings. I got four more boxes, we'll do it. All right, in this box we have a little better, a little half moon. Not a bad way to start. Next up, mystery, Singapore shrimp. Ooh, they came in small. Not a fan of them being so small. After that, we have looks like half black gold mollies. Next up, we have a little cellophane betta. Next up, another placat betta. A 
a bunch of auto sync lists. Looking good. Ooh, finally, we haven't had these for a long time. The pygmy quarries. Looking good. Next up, Habrosis. Finally, they both came back in. I know a bunch of people getting called about these. Next up, Gardener Eye Killifish. Awesome. Comes in pairs. I think we sell them for about 15 bucks a pair. Ooh, we got more. More is hiding. Looks like a couple more. Or no, just one more. One more Half Moon Meta. Going to the next one. All right, here we go. In this box, we've got Panda Corys. They love tacos so much. Looking good. Can't complain with those. Can't complain at all. Yo-yo loaches. Are they warm? A little bit cold. I might get ick from being cold. But that's why we quarantine. Loaches are always highly likely to get ill. Corydoras paleatus. Also known as a salt and pepper cory. Sometimes some places call the habrosis cory the salt and pepper cory as well. So that's why common names are a little bit of a struggle. The Ice Flame Guppy, looking good. I still love that guppy. I really should consider making space for it in the fish room. Next up, Platinum Blue Guppies. They don't look amazing in the bag, but I bet you once they're done being stressed, they look pretty cool. Jimmy, I'm sure will capture that. Brigitte Rasboras, 50 more. As you guys notice, we sell a lot of those. Is that it? That's it for this one. All right, going to the next one. All right, here we go. First up, L190. A little Royal Pleco. Nice little wood eater. Not a lot of poop in the bag, which tells me probably wasn't a lot of wood in their wholesale tank, so we'll definitely get that remedied. And there we got the female Gardener Achilles. They're a match to those males we unboxed earlier. Odessa Barbs, selling tons because they look good. The source we got right now, real good. Sunset Honey Grammys, one of the best little nano showpiece fish. They look good, relatively mild mannered. More Odessa Barbs, come on. It's a lot of those things. Reticulated Hillstream Loaches, we haven't had these in a while. I wonder if they weren't selling. Sometimes what happens is you get down to four or five in the store and then no one sees them, so you don't sell them. But if you have 20 in there, then you sell them all day long. Pearl Grammys. Nice. Been out of these for a while. I think there's something going on with Pearl Grammys, like um, some kind of funk going through the farms or something like that. It seems to be a little bit something odd going on. That's it for this one. These ones are real small, like, I don't know, they're like packed with extra stuff. Don't know what's going on, but we're going to the next box. Here we go. First up in this one. Hatchet body Danio. What is this? Hatchet body Danio? That's got to be a new fancy name for giant Danio. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the manifest. All right, putting this down, looking at the manifest. I got to see what this is. All right, so they are Devario Devario, and they look like a sister species to giant Danios. So. Yeah, I mean, they look very similar in the pictures I just looked at, but Robert must want to try something new. Here's more of them. So we got 25 of these hatchet-bodied Danios. Next up, we have blue cobalt gobies. Oh, these are super sweet. I said the best ones I've ever seen were in L.R. Brett's fish room, and they were on fire as far as that blue goes. Really like those guys. When they show that breeding dress, they look good. Kubota Rasboras, the neon green Rasboras. Next up, we've got more Kubotas. Makes 50 total. After that, Ember Tetras. I want to do a big school of these somewhere. I keep meaning to do that, but I haven't yet. They come and go. We sell them all the time, but we run out. I need to start ordering by 100. I'm going to tell Robert. Order 100 if you're watching this, Robert. Uh, Apisto Agazizii Double Reds. Looking good, they got like gold on them. You see that gold up top? Looking good. Is that the last, is that the last? No, one more. 
Ooh, the Equus Pencilfish. Nice little top dweller. Kind of go at an angle. Nice. So, as you can see here, this is the last time I'll be able to do anything like that over here. We've got all these tanks that have been drilled. And I don't know where he went, but Joel, a.k.a. Corvus Oskin, is helping me do all this today. We're going to... It's kind of why the unboxing is a little bit hurried. We've got all of this to implement. It's going to be 16 more tanks. It's the same that we have right here. So we're doubling capacity. We've got 16 tanks all the way down. We're just basically cutting that in half and doing it back to back over here. Got to be, oh, there he is. Oh, hey now. Yeah, there he is. So we're going to make that happen. And that's the next thing to do. We just got to move a bunch of stuff, set levels, run drain lines and all that kind of stuff. So probably another six hours of work. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get on it. Yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna karate chop this all into submission. All right.